Howdy folks, this is Justro at Matt Kaif Mills. Got to make a little run out the road today. Going to a place, it's called the Blacksmith Depot. And if you like blacksmithing or you need anything that has to do with blacksmithing, they've got it all. It's always a big deal when I go out there. It's very seldom. It's been probably a couple years or more since I was there. I'm sure they've grown quite a bit, but I'll show you everything I can. I don't know that we'll get to have an interview with the owners or anything. I'm, I don't want to spring anything on them. They're usually always pretty busy with orders and stuff, but you'll at least get to see what I see. Folks, today I'm visiting the Blacksmith Depot in Candler, North Carolina. This is ran by the Kane family. They're real nice people, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you what they do and what they have. Hope you enjoy it. This machine forges handles for tongs. Okay, thanks, buddy. I was just making them a minute ago. They make their own tongs here, forge them out. They've got anvils of every shape and size. Fire pots for your forge, tweers. Old stuff. Gas forge. Any kind of hammer you could ever need or want. One of my favorite sections here. Everything you could possibly need for your hardy hole. This is to put in the hardy hole of your anvil and stick a flat piece of metal in there and start making a bend. Or you can do scrolling with it, it's adjustable. Bending forks. rivet blocks twirl cover for your fire pot and your forge I need one of these by the way didn't know I needed it until I got here I come to get coke today get coke for the forge they've even got anvils to sit up and just look at Hardy cones, different sizes. Anything you need for a hardy, a cut off. Spoon blocks.
Any kind of punch. Handles. Now we're getting into the tongs. A lot of their tongs they sell, they make. Some are German tongs. These are all German tongs. Flatter. Any kind of tong you want. Even got kits you can buy and make your own tongs. Put your own tongs together. More tongs. Any shape and size you want. Hardware, flag screws. Rivets. Ornate stuff. Cowbell blanks. Square nuts. Square headed bolts, kind of stuff I use. All kind of stock. Small pieces of stock that you need. Vices, post vice, blowers for your forge. Didn't say before, but this is a swage block. This is what the old blacksmiths used to make spoons, ladles, dippers, rifle barrels, anything that needed swaged to a certain shape. That's kind of, and they made blocks all different, 
all different kinds. You can make round bar with this one. Here's what I come to get, coke for forging. I'll show you this and more about how it works in our upcoming video. So right here's what we want after at the Blacksmith Depot. This is coke. It's a byproduct of coal when it's burned. And this stuff's the best for using in a forge for heating metal. There's almost no smoke and it, it, if you take the air off of it, it goes out really fast. It lasts a lot longer. It's way better than coal, but I got three bags of this coke because if we're going to be working on grain mills, we got to have the forge hot. I hope you enjoyed the trip to Kane's Blacksmith Depot today. I'm glad you could go with me. This is Justro at Metcalf Mills. I look forward to seeing you next time.